Hi everyone and welcome to the 3D Experience Forum here at beautiful Caesars Palace. Today we're talking with Natish Banzal. He's the Senior Vice President of Engineering for Emphasis. Natish, could you give us a background with regard to the relationship between Deso Systems and Emphasis? So with Deso Systems, uh, we have worked on and off for probably over a decade. But uh, in terms of really strategic partnership, we started off as of beginning of last year. And this is, I think, uh, coinciding with how we've seen in the industry, the adoption of more digitalization, uh, more of technologies to come on the OT side. Mm -hmm. And that's when we kind of got together. We selected a couple of industries to focus on, mm -hmm. uh, to start with aerospace and defense, industrial manufacturing, and CPG. Mm -hmm. because these are also the areas where we ourselves are very strong, mm -hmm. uh, have a very strong presence for, for decades together with those customers. And Dasso Systems also brings a, a suite of applications that lends itself uh, nicely to these industries. Mm -hmm. And uh, together we have created some solutions, industry solutions together, and uh, our teams are really working on the ground well. I'm interested in any examples that you'd like to share with regard to digitization of manufacturing supply chains and as manufacturers move more and more in terms of embracing greater visibility, uh, track and trace, and uh, eliminating layers in supply chain to be more competitive and create smart connected products, for example. So if you look at uh, manufacturing supply chains, uh, optimization and efficiency remain key drivers for both cost and efficiency. And uh, in working together with Deso, one of the examples that comes to my mind is relating to an aircraft engine manufacturer and uh, it's related to one of their MRO sites where uh, they needed visibility as well as uh, some sort of a planning model by which they can assess how many blades can they handle uh, each day. Because as you understand in MRO, the, the demand side can be highly fluctuating, but they have to maintain a throughput. Mm -hmm. uh, what we did was we used Aprizo and Autumns to build a closed loop modeling uh, where we balanced the request inflow with the machine utilization and managed how they will uh, carry out an optimal cost and, and throughput uh, throughout the plant. Mm -hmm. They did not have, uh, for example, um, edge devices, uh, so sensors that will give them real-time visibility. Uh, they did not have gateways so that they could have a uh, data feed coming in that they could measure in real time. All these are part of you know, uh, benefits that we can bring to the table as being a SI who can work across technologies. Uh, built this, implemented this in a span of less than two quarters. And today, uh, this organization is already beginning to see uh, benefits come out. Where else are you seeing the pockets of innovation and growth uh, in your business with regard to where the 3D experience platform is opening up new opportunities for you to excel as an SI? I think in the verticals that we chose, uh, it was based on looking at how the industry is already adopting uh, 3D experience and related platforms. And again, I have to point out that we are seeing significant uptake also on the Delmia suite because that's where we've seen uh, new buying centers open up. It's no longer just the head of manufacturing plant or, or, or the chief product officer but this is now getting into chief supply chain officer or even directly onto the CFO's radar, mm -hmm. right? So aerospace and defense, of course, it's been a very strong area to play in, but industrial manufacturers have very similar problems, fragmented landscapes, they've grown through acquisitions, they've got a brownfield implementation. They are looking at how to pick those value nuggets and start building their value case. Mm -hmm. CPG is not far behind. Again, uh, it may not look similar from an industry point of view, but when you look at the scale of manufacturing operations that they run, they have very similar challenges and they are beginning to realize those benefits as well. Mm -hmm. And overlaying those industries, especially on CPG, is compliance and quality, yes. definitely in aerospace and defense. And track and trace, yes, which comes into, uh, into play over there as well. Are you seeing an, an uplift in the need for real-time data and for being able to have a, a richer data lake for everyone to work off of that the 3D Experience platform enables? Uh, absolutely, because I think uh, data is the underlying uh, basis of creating the digital threat, yeah. creating that visibility which will allow people to have those insights and make those decisions. So uh, using a data lake that the 3D Experience platform enables is extremely important. 
in some cases, customers may have already invested in a data, data lake or may have created some sort of an ingress mechanism by which they're pulling data in. In that case, we would be able to leverage it, but it goes without saying that none of this would be possible if we cannot pull the data from those systems and create that uh, common uh, view of, of, of all the operational data. Mm -hmm. And what are you seeing with regard to uh, your clients at the sea level relative at the plant level, the visibility of different dashboards and different metrics and the ability to create their own metrics on the fly? <laughs> well, there is just so much of it yeah. that I think most of my discussions at CXO level actually start with saying, only if somebody could take 50% of this off and give me only what is relevant, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, and, and I think um, it's, it's, it's very important because we have to look at the persona. We have to look at who is who's reading it, who's consuming it, right? Yeah. And what is it that matters to them? I think that ability of bringing the data together automatically lends itself to creating the right kind of dashboards. Nobody wants to read reports anymore. Everybody wants real-time feeds on click, whether it's on an app or on a website or whatever it is, but real time, so zero latency as long as, as, far, as far as possible, mm -hmm. and something that will directly enable decision making, mm -hmm. right? So that I think is not just increasing, but there is a significant need for us to kind of go and demystify uh, and, and unclutter some of those dashboards mm -hmm. and, and basically make it more consumable and more decision oriented. Is that an epiphany moment for the C-level executives you talk to at, at prospects or at prospect divisions of existing customers when you go in and say, you don't need a dashboard that has that looks like the uh, dash, like like the cockpit of a 747, you know. But you just need these key metrics, and this is these are the inflection points of your business. You know, I've been telling my team, I don't need all this data. Why are you sending me these reports every month? I I can't even consume them. So absolutely, they definitely resonate with the point that if you can give me five data points that I can act on, and and others are getting taken care of, I'm the happiest bunny. Mm -hmm. How is Infosys excelling at enabling manufacturers to move into new digitally driven business models and, and go after servitization and using products as a platform to drive new service revenue? So Infosys has always uh, been in vertically industry focused, sure. right? And as we have grown through years, we started off with custom software, we went into ERPs, we did infrastructure, we've done networks, we've done... So what has happened is doing all of that work, but with the lens of the vertical industry, we have gained significant knowledge about industry drivers, challenges, their business models, and their data models. What we've done with this is we've created a knowledge schema, a knowledge map mm -hmm. of kinds for each of those industries. We are marrying that knowledge map with the data models and then appropriately weaving it together with the tools Mm -hmm. through which we can actually solve their business problems. Mm -hmm. So when this digitalization kind of started and, and is kind of happening now, what they are looking for is, can you marry my business problem and the expected benefit directly with a solution that you're proposing? Because most of the times what executives are faced with is lots of technology choices, a significant vision of the future, but they're missing the connections. Mm -hmm. Right, And that's where I think Infosys has been extremely successful. This is our way to go to market, mm -hmm. is create those vertical use cases, specific solutions, identify why this solution leads to the ROI, and then go to them. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think um, true value and like our tagline today is navigate your next. Mm -hmm. We're helping our customers navigate to their next using this. Mm -hmm. You know, and those elements that you just uh, enumerated uh, create a, uh, an excellent platform that will flex and scale yes. and breathe with them as yeah. they change. Yeah. Although we don't call it a platform because yeah. unfortunately there are so many platforms yeah. being sold in the market yeah. that there is a little bit of an aversion from sure. the word and we are honestly not trying to sell a platform, right? Yeah. We are trying to essentially use what the customer has bought or is going to buy and, and it's in line of their um, technical blueprint. We are really selling them a business model yes. and, and a knowledge map. Yeah, the knowledge map becomes a, a framework or a methodology exactly. for them to be able to continually regenerate themselves with new innovation. Correct, and it does yeah. not get logged in somebody's head as tribal knowledge. It, it is something which is institutional, which is something yeah. that they will be able to take to the next generation. Which becomes lasting change. Yes, Excellent. Indeed. Natish, thank you very much. And thank you, and if you'd like additional information on the 3D Experience platform or any of our other products, please go to our website. Make it a great day.